somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are diving into season two of Attack on Titan. This is episode one, and I cannot wait to get back into this series. Man, what a cliffhanger they left us on. Man, season one was so much fun, but imagine having to wait four and a half years <laughs> for season two but i'm definitely ready willing imagine able, they did because that did. was so much fun yeah but we didn't have to oh, thankfully that first season was one of the greatest surprises of my entire life they left us with a massive cliffhanger cannot wait to see what season two brings y'all have been saying that it's good we'll see looking forward to getting our hearts broken again <laughs> maybe i don't know you know we don't Let's go! <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay, here we go. Yep. Peeking through. I Remember, see go you. for the eyes. You'll see. No, no. So they say in the wall. No, yeah, that's me. Because the layer yeah. of the wall looked like it was thin. Is yeah. it actually yeah. in the wall? <laughs> oh, oh so sunlight. Well, that would make mm. sense. Remember the ones they had captured? They covered them up to, and they would slow them down. Oh, they kept them out of the season. sun. New music. New Whoa. Okay, here we go. Kimi Omega. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Not in there. <laughs> I'm waiting for the moment. Oh, look at that. Did you see that one walk by? Its mouth is wide open. There's going to be a crescendo here soon, guys. Here it comes. I think. This one's different. A little more upbeat almost. Whoa. Whoa. I may or may not have gone online and looked for one of those jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're out there. A lot of merch. Whoa. Ooh. What was that? This could be a big... Oh, okay, the animals have to mean something. Yeah. Well, because remember, they, they said it was in the books about it. Whoa, we whoa, whoa. Dinosaurs. Whoa. We got dinosaurs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, they get their... <laughs> Tyrannosaurus! God, I don't know what to think about that music. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what we're we'll going to do. Let's do it a couple more times. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
巨人多数襲来突破されたおおいや、one on the bottom right! 確かに足音が500メートル南方より付近の民家や集落を走り回って壁が壊されたってことなのか残念だけど仕事が終わるまで Well, yeah, for as long as it would take to get the gear on, you think it'd be worth it あの一体に9体いる Oh, what is with that one? That one was jacked up. 巨人の秘密や正体に一切迫ることも人類は負けた。いいや。Tile roughs. Slippery. 戦い続ける限りはまだ負けてない。Oh, they gotta fight him in the open, though. Oh. Again. 4つの藩を攻撃する。戦闘は可能な限り開始。That's still kind of in the open. 新しい者はいるか。北の森に故郷があります。ここにも。Oh, <laughs> that dude's. Minami, or no Muraga, I must. Uh, Kyojinga, Kita Hokoni. Oh, that's what he's thinking about. Mm hmm. Donato, or no Murani, you can't take us. I think they're all gone. Mm hmm. Oh, my Nimakas, Tori, what am I doing? Saki Nukedashi Katan Sutto eat Tadaro. He's got that sweater on, a button down. Oh, he's sweating. Alright, let's go. Let's start yeah, but then he can start using out. some trees, at least. Did you say trees? Yeah, trees. Trees are kind of our thing around here. Wh what was that? What is this? Oh, what, what is, is going, going on? on? They're going bonkers and they start running. Oh, that is creepy. Get up! All right. Second only to Levi, so. Uh, you know, after yeah, but that, is, it a, is it a distance second, uh, second? After that OVA catching up on Levi's backstory, mm -hmm. like now him losing his whole crew mm -hmm. kind of hits differently, too. Yep. Whoa, look at that. Just skating around. Whoa. That's one. Got him. Whoa! <laughs> of course. Show a public disclosure. I love that. I, 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 yeah, I caught a lot of it, but not all of it. Ooh, it's way back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Restraint is not his strong point. <laughs> no, not at, not at all. Point. Maybe it used to be. あ、疲れてんだろう。部屋行って寝ろよ。平気。今度子宮品に新しいのあったらもらっといてやるよ。うーん、なあ、she <笑> Got it. I was gonna say he's got to teach him that spinning Ooh, that yeah. maneuver. Deep slice that right there. You got in good with that one. Only three beads of <laughs> slice. Oh, you that one. What was that? Was it? It's uh, like hey. the creepy dude at the yeah. bar. Hey. Oh, he's on. Is that his final blade? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh. Look at its arms. Abnormal. What is that? Bigfoot? Yeah, like a Sasquatch. What the fudge? Uh -oh. Look at its arms. Are we gonna pull a walking dead? <laughs> oh, the horse. Yep. Yep. No. Bye, horse. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. oh. Walter. Can control him? Wait. What are we seeing here? What is happening? <laughs> oh, oh! Damn. Mounted the talk? Yeah. Oh! Isn't our guy gonna bleed out here? <laughs> oh. What? What is this? Kokotskotinukaunajinirutekotoasindane. in the nape of the neck. <laughs> oh, they're gonna learn about it, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, this changes a lot. Tatakokoto Yametoki. 
初めて敗北する。What just happened? That's a good question. There's a big furry titan that's 17 meters tall that can talk and control the rest of them. Oh, good to eat you. Oh, oh, man. Oh, 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 That ending is pretty trippy here. Look at some kind of beast thing. That, what did we just, what did we just watch? I don't know, uh, but. What a game changer. But it is definitely. Episode. Yeah. Setting the tone for this season. Yeah, what it was, the hell? Well. Expect the unexpected. It seemed like that was obviously an older Titan, maybe more, uh, clearly more intelligent, able to talk. But was it? Because they said, you know, we reside in the nape, like as in the nape of the neck. So they yeah. it's it's a person inside of that Titan, clearly. But it's somebody who's so advanced, even beyond Annie, I think, that they've figured out how to talk and completely control the Titan so that it's essentially uh, just just them blown up on larger scale. So who, as far as who it is, uh, who knows who it could be? Somebody who's been around for a while and has figured out how to control it, but just an absolute curveball. I don't think any of us expected to see. Uh, holy crap. Uh, you know, I thought they'd be able to take care of those, you know, four Titans, no problem. And then all of a sudden we got, we got Bigfoot Sasquatch yeah. Titan come walking in <laughs> who's intelligent and can talk the same language and, it knows what they know and wants to learn more about them. But mm. the reason why I think that that one hasn't been around because it acts like it never saw the 3D maneuver gear and it and it took it and it wanted to, I would assume, learn about it. It's going to come out of the Titan and then want to learn about it. So is this just a whole new different uh, country or realm or kingdom of people that we're going to deal with who have managed to control the act of turning into titans and maybe it's been them the whole time or they've been controlling the less intelligent titans telling them what to do because it listened to what they said told them to stop and stopped and then he said so okay for the yeah and he's like okay go ahead and then yeah, yeah he got the old squeeze for not listening so a, a massive massive just huge bit of information that I don't think mm -hmm. we expected and I can only imagine what everybody went through after waiting four and a half years and then all of a sudden this Titan shows up that can talk uh, that had to be just absolutely ridiculous <laughs> to try to wrap your head around but again we got introduced to some more characters here and uh, who knows how long they're going to last the way this show goes well it was a hundred years right since the last attack so any humans that could have been able to turn the Titans yeah maybe that one like, because we don't know how well they're preserved in the Titan body. Because yeah. cause maybe age. someone's been in there for yeah. 50, 60 yeah. years, so they've been able to evolve. Because remember, well, remember, Annie had the, the different skin type than, say, Aaron did. Mm -hmm. And so maybe with this one, it's been around even longer. And, I mean, then it can talk, and then it's got fur, whereas she had, like, some sort of diamond plating. So I can only assume that, like, it's he's – They've been a Titan for so long that it gets different, like, like attributes. Stages and, of evolution. Yeah, you know, different stages yeah. of, uh, absolutely, of evolution yeah. because, I mean, they haven't attacked in 100 years. And so basically by the time that he was out there and started transforming into a Titan, they didn't have any of those, any of that weaponry even discovered yet or invented yet. So it's like a whole new ball game even for him, but he still didn't have to take out the dude's horse. I mean, come on. No, was, the, the, the horse didn't do anything. It was wrong. They went right for the horse. Yeah, exactly. And, but, uh, yeah. And then we saw, this is all 12 hours earlier for me than Annie transforming. So this has been completely a game changer. And like, this is, and we saw that though, that Aaron is up and walking around. And so hopefully we see him get involved, uh, for me personally, sooner than later, because I love Aaron's character and and Mika and Mikasa. You know, I had speculated at the Mikasa. end. Mikasa. 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 <laughs> I had speculated at the end of the off. last episode that maybe people were using the Titans to try to, and basically it's just a battle tool, you know, mm -hmm. like to take out other towns, to have control. And I mean, just uh, almost like in a, a form of advanced weaponry, you know. Um, so it is very interesting. Answer brings up a good point that there wasn't any tax for a hundred years. So the people who, uh, are alive now have never witnessed any of this. Everything they have is secondhand information or books or whatever. Um, so it's a lot to absorb. Um, 
uh, having a, a Sasquatch with long arms that can talk and communicate, um, by the look on uh, our guy's face, it wasn't written anywhere in their textbooks that they could communicate. Yeah. Right? Like, the, the, he was so shocked that they could communicate. Um, so there's that. Let's not forget about the Titan in the wall. In the walls. They got, uh, a, they got a patched up. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> What what is that all Tape about? And cloth. They're in in the walls. I mean, they built walls around the Titans, I and mean, obviously there's you know stuff with sunlight. And so um, we were given a lot of questions this episode, and virtually no answers whatsoever. Um, so a, a, a great start to season two, and I think exactly what you would want after having a four year break, mm -hmm. coming back and having everybody's mind just completely blown. Wait, there's Titans in the wall. Wait, there's this hairy one. Wait, it can talk. I mean, just absolutely insane. And I think this set the tone for a wild season two. Yeah. We got Harry and the Hendersons making yeah. a comeback and attack on Titans. <laughs> what a... What a wild twist that was for, for us. I'm real curious, actually, what you all thought your first time watching this mm -hmm. however long ago and seeing that. I know some uh, folks probably had had read the canon, uh, but if you didn't read or even reading it or watching it for the first time, what was your reaction? Because I was not expecting uh, a Bigfoot mm. uh, <laughs> to be controlling um the titans wasn't which, on my bingo yeah card. it was not on any yeah, bingo no, cards no, no, no. or any other power balls or mega balls whatever <laughs> but i'm really intrigued now to see who is controlling that how many more people are out there controlling whatever now after seeing that intro are we really getting dinosaurs yeah, are animals. we getting more animals of uh, all dinosaurs yeah of all kinds of things so we should expect everything and anything to now be coming at Aaron and crew, which <laughs> Aaron, you better uh, start leveling up here pretty quick uh, because uh, you are in for a ride. If this kind of comes up yeah. and what is Sasquatch going to do with that right yeah. now? Is he going to, I personally think they're going to analyze it because yep. clearly he's intelligent, uh, whoever it is. Yep. So they're going to analyze that and, probably figure out ways maybe they just start mowing down trees in season two or something and they take their abilities away because really that's it if they yeah. don't have that they're screwed because yeah, it's not the like they're climbing them yeah and then yeah. gonna make it up to their neck but yep. i thought that was wild uh for all you that had to wait the four plus years oh. and then wait weekly on top of this i can only imagine what your <laughs> your mind was <laughs> doing especially if you didn't read so any big. of the the canon for this because i can't imagine waiting one week trying to sit there for one week in my head being like what is what's <laughs> next you know what's going to happen because this was great uh, what and let's talk about that ending that ending was you know, some could say disturbing <laughs> for an outro i don't think i've at least i can't recall in this moment right now of an outro with live action being like that and then credit roll because that's impactful so that was really really well done this, is, this whole show has been really well done so kudos to whomever wrote or if there's one writer a couple writers i know a lot of people keep trying to say that dave there's only one writer but as we know there's probably a couple writers for the tv show mm -hmm. i know there's one writer for the main uh like the main story universe, yeah. Yeah. yeah but for the tv show yeah. you know Bravo to if it's one writer, multiple writers, because everything is doing great, especially when you – and you, most of you who brought it up, you aren't kidding. You get kind of tired of seeing to be continued. So uh, <laughs> it is what it is, but obviously, uh, at, like like yep. I said, weekly seeing that, it'd be like, I'm done. Give me – you fast forward one week, but yeah. – I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. Well, you say that as the ultra. Remember the ultra of the first episode is him seeing his mom get eaten. So there, this is pretty much on par at, with ultra. Two different. Yep. I yeah. feel like it's two different impacts, right? So yeah. there, it's the first one. So you're not as invested yet, but you're just like, whoa, here you're mm -hmm. kind of getting invested with the team, mm -hmm. uh, even though you don't know much, which I think is great writing in itself because, you know, it's not like we saw a ton of him. 
Mm. But you're at least I was impacted being like, okay, this dude trying to take on these. Oh, I was just saying because it seems like Ooh. always they want to set the tone right away, like they did with the first ever episode, and then right here at the end too is setting the tone for yeah, this. Like I said, it's it's for me it's too different because you got to see the mom get chomped, mm -hmm. but then we were seeing dude dude's head literally getting ate, yeah. and then it went off to to be continued. Yeah, pulled like, apart. Yeah, so it's too different. But mm -hmm. yeah, good point. It, yeah. It's. No. Well, wow. and the interesting thing with what we're seeing here on the screen is kind of like the the last image or the the image that they're using for the episode. It looks like a very old, almost biblical artwork or you know drawing that you might see you know thousands of years ago, and it looks like what appears to be a beast like Titan presented with something uh, in that woman's hand. It looks like well, either an apple or a crystal or something. Pastor Nick too was saying stuff about right. it. Right. And it, well, we didn't get any information out of that slime ball. She should have just <laughs> dropped them. In my opinion, I will ask somebody what else. Not getting I anything out of you. <laughs> <laughs> had to split. I had to let him he go. Was but, dead so tired. I mean, like, like you were saying answer, I mean, a hundred years since last attack, clearly this has been going on for a long time and clearly humans have been able to, turn into titans for a long time and master it so who knows where we're going next i'm not even gonna try to predict just i'm just gonna take the ride and that was wild on the ride yeah yep. it's wild. you know when i was doing the trailers for patreon for the month i saw i think it was that but it wasn't like any it didn't register with me i'm mm -hmm. like oh probably a dream sequence or something right yeah, i mean you're not having gonna... a dream of a of an animal but right. i didn't think it was going to be like this Start so talking <laughs> yeah so wild just wild just crazy but uh what next. a way to start off season two this has been so much fun thank you again for this so for diamond dave appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer we'll catch you on the next one pals clever idea the maneuver gear they're showing it again just in oh. case you missed it <laughs> head bite Oh, they're showing the key, key for the basement. Maybe the Sasquatch one is uh, Aaron's dad. You know, now with Annie, like I'm trying to look at the faces and keep uh -huh. guessing. Like I won't be surprised if that's like the father, <laughs> Aaron's father. It's very. I want to know it's what that's about. Them ask mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so we will see a battle, maybe. And then there's all of our animals. But there was a Sasquatch that showed them. There's yeah. a T-Rex. It's like there's... A pair yeah, of they're showing the, the red uh, the red dots, I would I would think, would indicate oh, there's people in there. With, I believe that's Aaron inside the Titan with his eyes opening. Uh, Having a three-and-a-half-year-old, I'm at peak dinosaur knowledge right now, guys. <laughs> Parasolophorus with the long thing. <laughs> Hmm. That's yeah. it. Hmm. <laughs> That's all he's got to say. Hmm. Hmm. Titans are the walls. <laughs> Look like a kid that had to pee. It's okay. Oh, sorry. What did she discover? ちゃんとかけて案外準備に手間取っちゃってさ。ウォルキョの司祭が。ニックとは友達なんだ。この班の編成自体よくわからなくはあるんだし。エルヴィンがこいつらを選んだんだからな。カイモン。行くぞ。
Splitting up always works so well. Mm. <laughs> Dabbing <laughs> snack. <laughs> Get out of your mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, look at that stiff arm. Jeez, look at her. A little... Need <laughs> dig that. <laughs> Need Arthur Morgan in that camp to restore some order. この それと心中する覚悟はあるんか。これからどんな危機に見舞われてん。その恩恵を受けることができんのは当然やからな。あれ以来、3年帰ってない。家に気づいて逃げてるはず。おお。ビッグフォット。こんな遅くまで人が住め
the place is toast. Oh, oh no. It's all twisted. That's interesting that it hasn't burnt up yet. Shit. Oh, that was his house. Yeah, look at yeah. Is that ribs hanging ribs out? Are, yeah, two ribs coming out. Oh, it's alive. Okay, that's no parts legs. of the house then. No legs. Yeah, what does it that can't move with those legs? legs. And they said the mom's legs didn't work. Did the mom turn into a titan from getting partially eaten? That could eaten? either be. That Is could that be. It? You get partially yeah. eaten? Well, or... that wasn't the same village, No, though. that wasn't the same yeah, village. That was a different village. Oh, but yeah, yeah, what yeah. if a member of his family is a titan and then just, you know, because we saw yeah. Aaron do the, the partial. Partial. Yeah. I, I don't know. So much speculation. <laughs> they keep giving where you to, questions. Where to even begin? But Have for we a even second there, an answer yet? No, <laughs> no. First two? No, we no. haven't. <laughs> you know, for a second there, I thought we were gonna end on a like a positive, uplifting note. Sasha came in, saved the day, found her inner warrior again, and did what she had to do with slamming the arrow in that Titan's eye. And you know, and that threw I think a Not lot so of us fast, off. In that friend. we no, 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 no. <laughs> we weren't used to seeing titans that small. I mean, relatively speaking. Yeah. And uh, that that kind of threw me off because when they first showed the scene, I'm like, what the hell am I looking at? And well, then, in fairness, too, if you know, we have, they were always outside running. Right. You, so know, you couldn't so really judge. No, yeah. yeah, yeah you, you have no all. frame of reference to know how big it is. Yeah. But just the fact that the titan could fit inside the house, I mean, I'm thinking, okay, so it's maybe seven, maybe eight feet tall at the absolute most. But, uh, I mean, that was that was crazy that Sasha was able to save the day like that. When we first came up on that village, uh, I thought, like, oh, we've got a fully functioning village here that everything is uh, totally fine. But obviously that wasn't the case. Everyone else evacuated. The other thing I found interesting was Sasha's home where she grew up with her dad. They were able to essentially live kind of off the grid and away from the titans there was only seemed to only be two of them kind of carving out a life the way they were in the forest but as the dad said you know well what kind of life is this if i can't see my family we could you know they could take down all the trees and grow grain feed more people or, you know they get money for their horses and they could kind of reestablish themselves into society a little bit and Sasha wanted no part of it uh she wanted to keep doing what she was doing uh you know pros and cons to that either way the pros less people you're gonna attract less titans obviously the cons being that if if you don't have those swords uh in the 3d maneuver gear you're not stopping a titan you know short of maybe having a cannon or something or you know blinding them with the guns like we saw so it's real interesting because they made a point to show that hey that axe yeah, she was, was going to town on the back of that thing's neck and it wasn't even attempting to attack her it was just sitting there and the axe did absolutely nothing against the titan's skin so i think that I think that was almost a little reminder for the audience that, hey, the only way you're taking these things out is with the 3D maneuver gear and the swords because the skin is just too too tough to breach aside from you know, the soft tissue like eyes, maybe hey, ears, there, wow. things yeah. like that. You're going to be hacking for a, for a minute or two. So this was a, a real interesting episode. Uh, I like that it answered questions for me of how would a small community or even a small uh, group of individuals or just one, how would they make it in the outside world amongst the Titans away from the walls or at least those main walls? Uh, so that kind of answered that one for me. But they did make it. They were they were living. They were uh, trading in horses. So it seemed to work out. We'll just have to uh, see what happened in, in town and maybe get some answers on that Titan that couldn't move and, and how that came to be. Yeah, that was an interesting way to end it. That it's like the small legs and everything that, you know, you never would have thought of that of a titan i mean we have seen goofy yeah, looking all kind of some titans ones. you know has something weird with yeah. them and it's this one just small. you know the, yeah the, <laughs> the squeezy head <laughs> and then he had this one had no legs but also like i'm interested to find out like they really discuss like what the material is that that sword is made out of because i mean granted remember they have they have to go through how many blades themselves too yeah. you know the last episode like he was down to his final blade before you know Harry came along and was talking to him. So, like, where the axe, like, and it wasn't like it was love taps with that axe. She was trying to go to town, 
And then uh, when they did the flashback, though, a little bit with her and her dad, it, it gave me a little, like, they're, like, living off the land, little Wild West, like, because they had the year in there and all. And mm-hmm. what you're talking about, like, so it seemed like they're showing it like it was, like, yeah, like you the know, American West. Yeah, the American West, like, that's how they're living and how they're living off the land, which, as we saw, like you said, with the trade of the horses, that's what it did. So it kind of kind of prepared her to venture on her own and then go to that village and yeah like the mom was or the mom was being eaten and the kid was just so scared and she's like well nobody ever cared about my mom nobody came to help so that's why nobody did and i froze and just yeah the mom just though just took it like she didn't scream she didn't she probably was yelling for help like way before you know sasha got there it's just that nobody ever came so she or if because her legs work she didn't feel anything that could also be but you would think then the kid would scream but yeah and then the way it ended in uh as a coney is that how you say his name Uh, coney's village or connie yeah it's seen his whole village and then his house where it's laying on there and i like what were those what i thought were ribs but it was like wrapped around there like i want to know what that is too but hopefully we get some answers in the next episode but this was another good one <laughs> as well on. i mean i'm not i'm not I'm sure anything. they'll explain everything. i'm sure i'm sure everything will get Eventually. we'll get they'll probably take care of probably make it to the basement next I, episode I, <laughs> I gotta be honest i'm keep like, showing the key in the intro it's great storytelling but mm-hmm. it seems like it was just this like hard shift from the last episode it's like we'll bring up this and this and this and then they leave you with such a cliffhanger like we gotta know more and then like ah well just it's gonna be a minute we want to tell you a different story with this episode like oh come on playing so yeah i mean it was cool yeah and then dave brings up a good point they're they're playing catch up kind of letting us know what's going on with different characters yep. different the parts split. of this story as opposed to necessarily just being like uh you know just a completely linear presentation of the story but uh, a cool episode. It was interesting, as the answer brought up, that to see that the normal weapons, like an axe, wasn't really doing anything at all. Um, it was wild to see um, uh, what appeared to be a very, very small titan just chewing on the leg, which I found interesting because they made it very clear, like in previous episodes, that they weren't doing it for any sort of sustenance. Um, they weren't eating because they needed to eat. They just kind of did it out of, you know, whatever. Boredom. Like, boredom man they did it just because whatever they don't so need them now for nutrition as you well. so yeah. like some somebody just chewing on another person and it's like well that's kind of weird you know um then of course that that scene of the the titan that was stuck on the house with the two ribs sticking out and the legs that looked as if um you know maybe they were non-functional so are there are there titans that have disabilities and how did the titan get on the house like that and um again it was just another episode with i i want to say very good storylines but that just brought up more questions and and no answers and i feel i'm <laughs> curious how many episodes is season two i think it said 12 in season two okay so 12 episodes so we're we're two episodes in and granted that's 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 fresh right but uh, a lot of questions um you know, a lot of new things being thrown at us. I think that's the biggest thing so far for this season is we're just getting a lot of new stuff. <laughs> that, Because I think, you know, in season one, it's like, okay, this is kind of like world building. Like this is this is the world with the Titans. And now it's a development on that story. And they're like, oh, you thought you knew about the Titans. Yeah. Well, here's some new information. The bigger. Yeah, you don't know nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... It's interesting. We have uh, a lot to learn yet, a lot more questions than answers, and uh, but I'm sure it's uh, this season's going to deliver. Hopefully, they get that one. priest to talk, right? Yeah, that guy needs well, to does the build priest, the beans? I kind of wonder if the priest. <clears throat> I wonder, part of me, not all of me, just part, because I kind of want to clarify that <laughs> half of me right now. The good half, because the good I'm half just, of I'm Dave, just yeah, like, speculations <laughs> through my head of scenarios. Like, what if the priest doesn't know shit? <laughs> and you know it's just kind of everyone's waste of time in the end i can't imagine they would do that but they could yeah right like <laughs> just just funny to maybe, think. what like does he really truly know anything and again if he he probably does which is why they're making the point right mm-hmm. to trail him along keep him along but this storytelling is very compelling very gripping on oh yeah I feel more now, more in season two with the characters than we did in the first season where some of them kind of felt like red shirts right away. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like we are kind of getting our core, so to speak, of all of our players. 
where they're now all starting to get us viewers, well, us four, more invested into what I thought was probably at first we're going to be some red shirts. So again, I'm I'm digging this. Uh, Samantha, we all we all got a kick out of her when we first got introduced to her because she was always hungry and all that stuff. I kind of did a little callback to that there, if I'm remembering correctly. And this episode, to see her still have some humanity left in her to make the save when that poor child was just in, in just in shock, essentially. And the story that she was giving was actually like heartbreaking a little bit because the whole town, like she said, knew that the mom basically the legs were just game over for her essentially paraphrasing of course and that no one even cared to help so the poor the poor kid just you know turned a side eye Mm -hmm. and then (laughs) while mom was just getting chomped on and i do like how they did cut back to once the mom saw the daughter get away like she could finally i guess you could say let herself go so she can pass on and then hopefully just get out of pain there. But very gripping this one. I mean, the first two so far of season two have just come on swinging. So I can only imagine again what y'all went through uh, waiting week to week for this show. I can't I can't even imagine. But kudos to all of you. We are lucky enough now to get introduced to the stuff thanks to you all. And I again just... Wow, I can only imagine what we're going to get in episode three now. Yeah, I mean, the one shot that I thought was interesting was when they were on the wagon and they were going back and Aaron had the thought of Titans in the walls. And then they very purposely showed all the walls. And look, they could have designed the walls any way they wanted. It was, you know, their decision. They could have drawn it any way they wanted, but they're drawn in that you have very distinctly have sections of the wall yeah. where like the con I guess I'll call it concrete for lack of a better term where you almost have like a, a ring or a barrier in between each section of it and you could very easily visualize each one of those columns if you will being a titan yeah. and they showed that whole shot of it as they were talking about it for a reason because I mean everything in this show means something nothing is done for no reason yeah my speculation on that is that there's some sort of like if the titans can smell like yeah that um that one the right, shot there. right there yep if the titans can smell that there's another titan there maybe they back off they don't in, invade the space of other titans now the other thing with the titans is because they're not um hunting for food or anything and it's just whatever if you were to put a titan in a wall space like that block them from the sunlight they wouldn't necessarily uh, they wouldn't necessarily perish, right? Mm-hmm. So they stay in there. They're alive. They like don't need. They don't need food. It's mm-hmm. it's basically like a living tomb. And if having titans in those living tombs kept other titans away, you could essentially trap them in there one at a time. You know, build a section, trap a titan in there, lock it off, then construct the next one, lock another titan in. Mm-hmm. And eventually, after God knows how long it would take to construct that, you would have a wall built completely of titans. And it's very interesting because we've seen a lot of pictures of walls. Well, then how and many titans the, are in there? This yeah. is, right, exactly. This is the first time the wall has been depicted like this, um, if I'm remembering correctly. Or at least they showed it to us this way on purpose. This way with They've always the, had all the, like, the divisions. And yeah, it very much that. makes it feel like, yep, maybe there's... And I mean, we even see... It almost looks like it's getting taller. Yeah, there's different sizes. There's different sizes. So it's yeah. like, you know, maybe they use different uh, class Titans to build different sections of the wall. But if the Titan repels um, other Titans and you build them in the wall, maybe that's a way to try to keep other Titans out. They've only attacked the gates. Yeah, yeah and, and we know that the sun, when there's no sunlight, they become very docile and can't move. And, uh, well... A lot of talk about eclipses lately. Who knows where that's going to play out? Yeah, yeah so that that is kind of interesting too. Like, I do wonder. Well, one, have we even seen like uh, their technology of what? Of the, you know, basically their technology on how they would build this wall. Personally, I don't think we have no, because no, no. of all the We're action not, that we've I mean, seen so done, far. But like, we had the repair with Aaron throwing the boulder in it. <laughs> well, yeah, that was, yeah, that that's, was it. And that's so, the closest thing. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of. I mean, they're riding horses. Like how I can't. How advanced they are to be able yeah, to do it. Yeah, because it, it to me, like just thinking even real time. Obviously, this isn't 
animated, right? Anime. You know, thinking in real time, like how long that would actually take in real life. Yeah. You know, oh, like how long would it take years? these guys? Uh, so how could you oh, keep trapping them yeah. and have this kind of survival rate? Mm -hmm. yeah. And not have I mean? them get wrecked or broken yeah. down. Yeah, so I mean. it's a good theory to have, yeah, but which I still want to see an answer to that, regardless if it's wrong or right. But then, like, how do they build that wall around it? I almost yeah. feel like so you know the main gate they had. It's like counterweighted, so the gate slides up. It's got the two, it's got the two hooks on top, and it slides up. I wonder if you, <coughs> if you built three sides and used that same counterweight system where the gate slides up, you get the tighten in, and then it slides it down and it. traps traps it in. Then you construct, you know, because now you have one side. You construct two more sides, and you build another thing that slides up. Because they showed us. They showed us the gate going up in that fashion. It's got two mm -hmm. hooks on the top. There's some sort of counterweight or a crank yeah. system or whatever, mm -hmm. and the gate slides up. So I wonder if that's not it. Yeah. Once you have that first one built, you build two, yeah. you know, um, or parallel walls, and then a third gate. Well, I'm sure they'll look at, tell look at us. me. Yeah. Like, oh, how would I? I'm sure. I'm sure they'll tell us yeah. next episode. I'm sure the next episode yeah. they're gonna paint a very. Yeah, you gotta find a way us. to make them docile as they just smash everything. It's like the next so. episode, we're definitely getting the basement. So yeah, yeah. We'll we'll the the basement. Basement. Hey, at least the key is in the intro now. Yep. So yeah, this has been a great start to season two. Bang. So for Diamond Dave Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.